channel. So today we are going to learn how to make the half circle tiered skirt. In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate you guys the pattern making and the sewing technique for the half circle tiered skirt. We to learn the pattern making and the sewing for this tutorial, make it sure to continue on watching the whole video to see the full create using this wonderful green gazar and of course my trusty sewing machine. First, let's get the full waist measurement of our dress forms or if you are making this skirt for yourself, get the measurement of the smallest part of your waist and record it. Next, we will use the half circle skirt formula. For example, the full waist measurement of my dress form is 13 for 8 inches or 34 centimeters. I am going to multiply the waist measurement by 2 equals to 27 inches or 68.5 centimeters and i will divide this measurement by 6.28 equals to 4 to 8 inches or 11 centimeters and this will be the radius measurement that i will use for my half circle skirt disclaimer the measurements that i am using here is from my half scale dress form please use your own measurements for the length of my half circle skirt, I'll be using 5 inches or 12.7 centimeters. And for the lower skirt, I will be using 7 inches or 17.7 centimeters. Remember guys to use your own measurements for your skirt. Don't be afraid to experiment with different lengths. So after our calculations, we can now move on to the next step. If you guys can see at the other side of my pattern paper, I left 4 eighths of an inch or 1.27 centimeters space here for my sewing allowance and let's leave it like this while we draft the half circle skirt. Like every other circle skirts, we are going to draft the ridges from the tip of our paper. First, mark down your ridges measurement making a curved cone shape like this one. I am using the radius measurement from the waist of my dress form, which is 4 to 8 inches or 11 centimeters. Again, use your own measurements for this one. Next, from the radius, mark down the skirt length. The skirt length for my half circle skirt is 5 inches or 12.7 centimeters. Label the side without sewing allowance on a fold. By the way, I am also going to put sewing allowance at the hem of my half circle skirt and at the waist or the ridges in about 4 eighths of an inch or 1.27 centimeters. And next, I will cut out the pattern from my paper. And there you go. Now we have a half circle skirt pattern. Let's now move on to the next step. To draft the tear or the lower skirt, let's get the hem measurement of our half circle skirt. Simply use your measuring tape and get the measurement of the hem like this one. Mind you that with different lengths, the measurement of the hem circumference changes. So I suggest you do this procedure on your own half circle skirt so that you'll get your exact measurement. What I am doing here is only a demonstration. The measurement that I'll get from my skirt is different from yours. So remember, get your measurements. Once you got your hem measurement, don't forget to record it. The measurement that I got is 14.58 inches or 37 centimeters. Since we got the measurement on our unfold pattern, we will multiply this measurement by 2. 
So the whole hem circumference measurement is 29 to 8 inches or 74 centimeters. Again, my measurement is different from yours. And by the way, I will multiply this measurement by 3 or 4 and that's according to your preference. Use times 4 if you want an exaggerated gathering. Use times 3 if you want a simple yet beautiful gathering. For me, I prefer to use times 3. So next, I will multiply my hem circumference measurement by 3. So that's 29 to 8 inches or 74 centimeters times 3 equals to 87, 6 8 inches or 223 centimeters. Oh my god, those are a lot of numbers. <laughs> Please bear with the math. I know it's overwhelming, but it's part of the pattern drafting. Rewind or pause if you must to understand the formula. For the lower skirt, I didn't make a pattern since it's a waste of paper. So what we will do next is do it on the actual fabric since it will be easy that way. Now, let's move on to the next step. Since we are using a half circle skirt, we have to cut the pattern on fold. First, let's fold our fabric lengthwise, selvage to selvage, like this one. Next, place your pattern on the bias on the fold of the fabric. Pin everything in place and cut out the extra fabric from the hem and from the reaches. And there you go. Now we have a half circle skirt. Now let's move on to the lower part of the skirt. To understand the lower skirt pattern very quickly, here is an illustration that I made and don't forget to pause the video to copy this. For the lower part of the skirt, we will cut on the crosswise part of the fabric since it is wide. The reason why the lower skirt is wide because we want to achieve full gathering effect. Using your tailor's chalk, draw a vertical line like this one. Next, from the edge of our fabric, mark down the skirt length plus 1 for 8 inches or 3.8 centimeters for the facing of the skirt. Mind you, this will be a long process, so patience is a must. Using my tape measure from the vertical line that I made earlier, I will mark in the width of the lower skirt, which is 87, 6 8 inches or 223 centimeters, plus 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters for the sewing allowances. So if you guys can see here, unfortunately, my tape measure is only 60 inches wide. It didn't cover it all. So from here on this mark, I will continue marking in the rest of my weave measurement. And from the weave mark, draw another vertical line parallel from the first one. And now I am just going to cut out the lower skirt from the fabric. And there you go. Now we have the half circle skirt and the tear or the lower skirt. Now let's move on to the sewing part. As you can see, first I serge all of the sewing allowances of the half circle skirt and the lower skirt. 
And next, I am going to fold the 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters facing of the hem of my lower skirt. And I will give this a slight press. Next, I will top stitch the facing by 6 eighths of an inch. So if you guys can see, I already gathered the lower skirt. My phone didn't capture the footage but it's easy to do this, especially if you have a gathering footer. Next, after gathering, I will pin the lower skirt to my half circle skirt, like this one. Next, I will sew the seams by 4 eighths of an inch or 1.27 centimeters. And there you go. Now we can see the results. And next, I will attach a bodice to see how this will look like on my dress form. Anyway guys, you can also use this technique to create more tears if you want a longer skirt or use it on your bodice to make a fantastic summer dress. You can also use a full circle skirt if you want to. I am really satisfied with the mock-up of the skirt and I hope you guys are too with your own creations. And if you guys have noticed, I use a half scale dress form for my demonstration today. This is a good way for me to lessen waste from my fabrics and to lessen my expenses when buying fabrics. For me, it's really practical, but I really do hope you guys can catch up with this tutorial and the upcoming ones since I will be using the half scale dress form more often. Anyway, you guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to make patterns and how to sew the half circle tiered skirt. I also hope this tutorial can help you with your upcoming sewing projects or to create a garment for yourself. And I promise I will create more tutorials on how to create different garments. 